Well, good morning. <laughs> it's another episode of As a Crow Flies Hiking. Avalanche and I are about to endeavor <laughs> the 60 miles on the bike for Never Thirst. Never Thirst is a, a company that I think is based in Birmingham. That's where we found out about them. They do uh, water work all around the world. Um, they are we're working with them specifically in two small villages in India uh, where we're putting in bio sand filters in India. 17 million people don't have clean water. As a part of 6060, we decided to uh, try to take donations. Our goal is $10,000. We're looking at it. It seems bigger than the bike ride today, but yeah. uh, the bike ride, we have to fight the donations we need your help with. So give to Never Thirst. The link will be in the description below. We've already done 60 miles in the... 64. Oh, that's right. 64. <laughs> Don't forget those four. We went a little extra because of where the that's portage was. That's an extra hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was, and I felt it. But now we're doing the bike. We're doing 60 miles. I've already had some mishaps this morning. I locked my keys in my truck, but luckily the man of everything... Uh, Avalanche was able to get my tr truck keys out. So we're on the road. We're about to be 60 miles on a bike. Let's do it. Second leg of the 60, 60, 60. Thanks for watching. I remember this bridge from yesterday. Well, the first couple of miles, we're already on the highway. And there's a Hunch Brothers pizza across the way. I'm not ready for that yet, but maybe on the way back. All right, let's keep moving on the trail. Trail, I'm in road. Let's go. How about this? We're riding on the about five miles in. My contact comes out and these cars are flying by me. So I got my contact on my tongue. Got it in my hand right now. And I guess it just dried out from all the wind. Hopefully Avalanche will take a break in a minute and put this contact back in. In the meantime, let's get the taste of contact on my tongue. Ugh. I took a little break because I've had my contact on my tongue for the last few miles. Could you see what you were saying? <laughs> No, but I couldn't talk. That was a blessing. And I couldn't, <laughs> and I couldn't lick my lips so they got dried out because if I did, my contact would fly out. Here. Avalanche mentioned to me this brick road. What is it, Avalanche? It uh, was a paved brick road put in 1921. It's one of the original roads going into Milton or coming out of Milton, I guess, whichever way you're going. We expected it to be really rough and bouncy, but it's been pretty smooth. My tires are fatter than yours. Are you getting shaken a lot? A little bit. So you, uh, it's got a side. If, if you're looking for a nice place just to paddle, there's about a three foot lane on the side which opens up to this nice bike path. A lot of bike paths in Florida. We sure do appreciate it on today as we do the second leg of the 60-60-60 challenge. My learning curve stays true. Had some issues with the gears already, but I figured that out again. I learned how to spit again. Spit between your arm and your knee so you don't get it all over yourself. And three, the same thing is true from last time. Cars don't like bikers or cyclists, whatever. Had a couple of horns honk at me and they get really close. Oh well. Doing good so far. We're going on the highway. You really see all kinds of roadkill. I think I saw possum, armadillo, maybe even a dog. Poor dog. I think I saw a carcass of a deer. At least I smelled it. That could have been something else. Yeah, all kinds of roadkill out here on the highway. Now we're off the highway, going under a bridge. I guess we're about eight, nine, 10 miles in. We made it into Milton, Florida and traffic was uh, 
pretty strong. But we crossed over the bridge into Milton. We're here now. We made it to the Florida Rail Trail. So we'll take it for part of the way on the 60. Right now, Avalanche's tire is down, so we're doing some adjustment here and pumping up the tire. And then we'll be back on the bike trail, hopefully to finish 60 before noon. That would be awesome. Is it open? Oh, it looks like it's open then. Probably open later in the morning. Yeah, we'll open. Well, I stopped to get some protein, a super protein for snack today. Teddy Grahams. I mean, this is the honey flavor, so, you know, it's gotta be super protein, right? We are on the Blackwater Heritage State Rail Trail. Flat, wide, runners, bikers. Uh, you can just really fly on this thing. So hopefully we'll gain a lot of miles on this. I wanna say it's 30 miles. I'm not exactly sure, I'll put it on the screen. But it will help us get to our 60 miles for the day. coming up to Whiting Military Base. That is the end of the trail. Back in the day, I think the trail went through the base and then kept going back to Blackwater uh, State Campground, but it doesn't do that anymore. I guess after 9-11, they closed it down. So the trail stops up here ahead, I believe, and then we'll turn around and go back. We made it to Whiting uh, field is, I don't know which branch. Naval. Oh, it's at the Naval Air Station. A lot so, of planes here, too. A lot of planes flying and taking off. So we are at 24? 24. So we're almost halfway through the 60 miles of biking. So this, this trail is absolutely beautiful. There's rest stops along the way, parking lots. There's bathroom breaks. Bunny rabbits. Bunny rabbits. Did you see a bunny rabbit? Three or four. Okay. Everywhere. They keep multiplying. Yeah, pretty quick like rabbits. <laughs> 60, 60, 60. We're almost through with the bike. What? We're taking a break. I mean, come on. Gotta pee. Sometime. Okay, we made a stop at Whataburger. Trying to get something real healthy for brunch, lunch. So I'm about to pick out. Just super hungry. All right, let's get something at Whataburger and then get back on the biking trail. I'm completely full with a breakfast burrito kind of thing. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Hopefully that will power me through this last 24 left. Well, we've been 35. 35, I don't do math. 25 to go. Let's do it. We're headed down a super busy highway. It does have a bike lane to the right. So I've been able to uh, stay on it. But initially there was no bike lane. And cars just keep flying by. We'll make it, or we won't, one or the other. Oh, here we are. We're back to the bridge. So I made a rookie mistake on the bike. 
I decided to try to cross the road like I was some little kid running with the bike, couldn't find the pedals, almost got ran over by a car. I am not joking, I was really close. Watch me do it again. Okay, I'm back safely on the bike path. I just wanted to take a picture of the Milton sign, the city of Milton, Florida. When I did, I almost didn't make it across the road. Missed the pedals, almost fell to the ground with a car coming. I'm not a cyclist, I can tell you that. But I'm having a blast about mile 50. And I'm feeling my age. We got 10 more to go. I see Avalanche in the distance. Hopefully I can catch up to him. Man, these 18 wheelers, when they pass by, it'll blow you off the side. We stopped at a store to get some, uh, something to drink. We've got three miles left and we'll be done with the second leg of the 60, 60, 60. 60 miles biking, just about completed. So happy to be done with this. Whoo, what a day. Yes, sir. Oh, this feels good. Nice way to end it. Okay, we are done with the biking. Yes, we are. 60 miles. I got 124. What? 64 and 60. Oh, okay. 124. Your math stinks. I'm not too good at that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this biking portion of the 60, 60, 60. Please keep in mind, all of this we're doing is to support Never Thirst. They are the organization that builds wells and puts in bio sand filters in Africa and India and around the world. So give to Never Thirst. There'll be a link in the description below. We've just finished the biking. We've got one more leg of this left to do. It's a big leg. And that's probably, yeah, I'd say that's the hardest part, the hiking. So we've had no signal this whole week. We both tried to post to Facebook. Our money was stagnant. It hadn't gone up since Sunday. Today we got a signal. And I sent out three days worth, you sent out a couple, and we are finally over a third of the way there. So we still need you to give, we still want to hit our goal. We could take what's there and, and do a well, but we didn't do this to do a well. We did this to do two bio sand filters in two villages to change the life of those children and those adults for the rest of their life. Please give, join us in this great challenge. Thank you guys for watching this episode of As a Crow Flies Hiking. We're gonna move on to the hiking. We're actually transitioning now and we'll be on the trail. So that'll be the next episode. Appreciate you guys and please give to Never Thirst. Absolutely.